What's your feeling about how the visitor economy is performing in Nosley at the moment? I think the visitor economy is doing well, but there's massive room for improvement. You know, people rightly associate Nosley with the safari park, and that is a great attraction. But, you know, we were talking to people this morning, like Ake, the Acorn Venture, where, you know, there are fantastic opportunities for children to deal with. Um, there's horse riding, there's particularly they concentrate on young people with um, disabilities. So, you know, we need to promote all of that. And here we are in the middle of Nosley, which has this sort of very urban image. But in fact, it's one of the most green boroughs in the country. And we need to promote that more. Um, and I think the opportunities are fantastic. How important do you think that the visitor economy is? I think it's, it's very important, and I think it's very important that we integrate what is available in Nosy, which is fantastic. We've also got really good hotels um, into what's happening in the Liverpool City region. There are attractions in Liverpool City Centre, and that's great. But when people do visit the city region, you know, they need to be aware of the fact that not only they, you know, might they visit a gallery or a museum in, in uh, Liverpool, but, you know, we've got Nosley Hall, we've got uh, the Safari Park, we've got lots of other opportunities in Nosley, and I think the more we can integrate that into the city region, the better. Nosley in the borough, um, it's certainly something we want to do. I think the first challenge is that people need to know more about what is available um, and I know there are plans through the Chamber of Commerce and the Council to do that. Um, I think the second one is um, to recalibrate the image of Nosley. You know, it is not necessarily an urban area, we've got lots of green space in between and it's making people not only aware of that but aware of the opportunities that creates as well. So what practical support do you think the government can give or would you like to see the next government giving to businesses like the ones you've been speaking to today in Nosley? I think um, the whole devolution agenda that the government, uh, and to be fair, whoever is in government, there will be a devolution agenda, uh, means that more resources and powers are going to be come down to local authorities and city regions. And I think the local enterprise partnership is key to that. They need to provide the leadership to make sure that we exploit tourism and the visitor economy to the best of our ability. And at the moment, well, I think we're not performing as well as we should do. Um, but I think the opportunity through devolution and more powers and more resources being uh, put down to um, city regions and local authorities creates that space and that opportunity. You've got a chance today to meet one of the newest tourist attractions in Nosley, which was the Komaru Outdoors representative. And obviously they're offering something that's quite different and quite new. What were your perceptions of them? I think, you know, it's something... Learning to sort of deal with the outdoors is something that most young people don't get the opportunity in communities like ours to do. You know, so the idea of woodcraft, um, how to cook on a fire, how to find your way through a woods. It might not sound that exciting, but if anybody's ever done that, I mean, I was a Boy Scout when I was young, and I know all of those things, and it is actually really exciting, it's rewarding, it's interesting, and I think it's fantastic that something like that has, you know, chosen Nosley as a centre. And it speaks well about, you know, the project itself, but it also speaks well about Nosley, that we're the right place to do that. And the other thing I know that you mentioned in the meeting this morning, you talked a bit about the proposals for the Shakespeare North project, and that's something that you're giving your backing to, isn't it? I'm completely backing it, and, you know, it's uh, a little-known fact that there is a Shakespeare connection uh, with Nosley, and that the sixth Earl of Derby um, actually was a patron of Shakespeare. Midsummer Night's Dream was written for his wedding and performed in Nosley Hall in front of Queen Elizabeth I. Now, I think that gives us a really good claim to some little bit of Shakespearean history. And I think the uh, Shakespeare of the North project, um, when it was first mentioned, I, might, I must say, you know, I thought it was a bit fanciful. But I've become more and more convinced now that A, this is going to happen, and B, in terms of the regeneration of Prescott, that could be a vital contribution.